I went to grade eight and nine here when it was Beatty uh, Collegiate, and uh, they've done such a great job of the renovations that I can't even tell where the principal's office used to be, and I, and I did visit it from time to time when I was here uh, in grade eight and nine, but it looks, uh, this looks uh, uh, pretty impressive, and we're happy for the faculty, we're happy especially though for the students that we can officially open uh, this uh, renovated and, well, fundamentally new campus here today. I want to acknowledge in, uh, in a very direct way our partners in the federal government. Uh, the federal government has been working closely with the province of Saskatchewan through the general infrastructure stimulus package the government has, uh, the federal government has, uh, has promoted for the country but also in very specific ways, unique to our own economy here. We've had a great relationship with our MPs. I've had that kind of a relationship with my own MP, and that's been the case right across the province. And as David mentioned, it's a $13.5 million project right here in Swift Current, uh, almost half and half, 7.35 from the province and 6.15 million from the, from the federal government. And so for this investment and for the manifestations of this partnership, in, in so many different public policy areas, David, we want to say to you and through you, to the, to the Prime Minister and the government, thank you very, very much for your commitment to the province. Um, we are gathered today in one of the, uh, the fastest-growing cities in one of the fastest-growing economies in the country. In fact, depending on the forecaster you talk to, this provincial economy is the fastest growing in Canada. Uh, and it's going to be so for this year, and the forecasts say it'll be that way next year. We know that challenges come with that growth, but we'd rather those challenges than the challenges that come when too many young people, for example, move away because there isn't the opportunity in the economic growth in our province. So we'll continue to pursue our growth agenda, all of us, and central to that growth agenda is post-secondary education. And more importantly, strategic post-secondary education, which means matching up opportunities in the workplace with training available on the front lines, not just in our major centers, but in places like Swift Current and at the Great Plains campus at Kindersley and in Warman and the eight satellites uh, of, of this particular institution. It means having programs that fit economic opportunities. For example, the, we had a look at the fall protection tower program, which is fascinating. The first and only one like it in the province in terms of an indoor facility for the oil industry, for firefighters, for construction workers to be able to learn how to not fall, I guess. <laughs> or fall safely. Uh, we know that there's going to be a wind turbine uh, technician program right on this campus. Pretty unique for us in the southwest. We've just launched another pilot project with wind turbines powering rural rates. Sean, Mayor of Shonovan's here, and we're going to, Shonovan is certainly on that list. And uh, here again, we're matching up opportunities in the economy in terms of increased wind production with training programs here, and it's true in welding and business and you name it here at the college. So it is a great thing, because in order to do all of that, you need the facilities, uh, and you need to make the investment. We're happy to be a part of today, we're happy to be a partner in the investment with the federal government and the Board of Great Plains College, and we just wish you all the best. This day is actually, a, really is about the students and uh, what they're going to take away from this institution and how that's going to help them contribute to the fastest growing economy in the country. Thanks for the invitation to be here.